Hi, welcome to the magic of math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to find the area of a rectangle with fractional side lengths. Here's our question. Andy is painting a sign for his store. The sign is two and a half feet high and one and one fourth feet wide as shown. What is the area of Andy's sign? Please pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So we are first going to identify that we are asked in the question to find the area of Andy's sign, and we know that this is Andy's sign pictured here as shown. When we find area, if you're allowed a reference sheet, you go to the reference sheet and look at the formulas. There are two that are given. Area is equal to base times height, but it's also can be referred to as length times width. The funny thing about this, or the cool thing about this, is that multiplication is commutative. So using the commutative property, it means it doesn't matter what order you multiply in. So base and height are interchangeable when you look at a rectangle, as are length and width. So let's look at the information above. It said that the sign is two and a half feet high and one and one fourth feet wide. And we come over to our image and we can see it's already labeled for us, our height, which we can call h, or we can refer to this as our length our length or our height, it depends which formula you're using, but they're interchangeable. And then we have our base or our width, however you want to look at it. And again, because area is multiplication of the base and the height or the length and the width, multiplication is commutative, meaning the order that you multiply two values does not matter. So it doesn't matter which one you call the base and which one you call the height because you're going to multiply these two numbers together and the order doesn't matter. So now let's replace in our formula our dimensions. So we have two and a half and one and one fourth. And the formula says to multiply those two values together. To do that, we have to rewrite these mixed numbers as improper fractions. So two times two is four plus one is five, so that makes two and a half, five halves. One and one fourth, four times one is four, plus one is five, so one and one fourth becomes five fourths as an improper fraction. Now to multiply, we're gonna multiply our numerators and then multiply our denominators. Five times five is 25, and two times four is eight, giving us 25 eighths. All of our answer choices are written as mixed numbers. Eight goes into 25 three times completely, which is 24. Three times eight is 24, we have one left over. So our answer for the area of Andy's sign is three and one eighth. Our answer is B. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow and have a great day.